and we back now today we're taking a quiz that I have been avoiding for a very very long time there are two things in the NBA world that I'm just terrible with number one jersey numbers when I'm watching a team or a player ball out I'm not thinking about what's on the back of their jersey dog that's just I just don't care enough about jerseys but number two is accolades how many MVPs this guy has how many championships does this guy have how many guys how many MVPs this dude from the 60s have I do not know Today we're taking a quiz that basically quizzes us on exactly that. No matter what happened, whether if I ace it or I get exposed, this video is coming out regardless, okay? So let's just head over to her. Can you name the NBA player by their trophy case? Obviously, how many trophies they got, you feel me? 40 questions, 15 minutes. I still haven't tried this find opponent thing just yet, and I ain't starting today because I don't want to take two L's. I don't want to fail this quiz and get beat by a random guy. Not in the same video. Not, we can do them separately, but not in the same video. And as you can see at the bottom, we have not played this just yet. Let's get myself all comfortable. I got a strategy going into this. Okay. Mm, those are definitely 40 names. They're not in alphabetical order, which is an L because it'll make it easier for us to find. But I'm looking at this and I'm feeling just a little bit relieved because they're not just random players. These are all NBA greats, basically. So we should be okay, maybe. My strategy is to get the easy ones done first. The ones that I know, they come back to the ones I don't, obviously. All right, three-time champion. One-time finals MVP. All right, let's take a look through this. First row, nobody fits. Three-time champion. Nobody for Le LeBron fits, but LeBron's a little bit longer than that. Paul, ugh, um, a third row, three-time champion. Nobody fits it. Three-time champion on this one. We're skipping it. We're skipping it. We just took too long. Um, four-time champion, one-time MVP. All right, this should be an easy one. What player on this list has four rings and one MVP award? Four rings and one MVP award. Could that be the admiral? It was not the admiral. All right, it was not the Admiral. No big deal, though, because we're going to come back with this one, which is the champion, the NBA MVP, and the Defensive Player of the Year. Kevin Garnett. Well, you at KG, Mr. 21. See, look at that. I, know, I even know his number two, so that's two things that I'm bad at. I got right in that question. All right, NBA champion, MVP. See, things like this is going to be tough. I don't know how many gold medals anybody has, but if they only have one of each, it's going to be hard. But players that have six rings... Five MVPs, you know what I mean? Those guys are going to be easier to get. One MVP, and that's it. One championship, one MVP, and uh, two-time champions, four-time MVP. Okay, we should, we should be able to get this. Four-time MVP, who on his list has four MVP awards? Two championships. Um, Four MVP awards, four of them. That's a lot of MVPs. So this guy was dominant for a very long time. I'm thinking it's got to be one of the guys from the... Is that Will? Yes! Let's go! Six-time champion. Nothing else. That's my boy, Scotty Too Hotty. Scotty Pippen. He never got an MVP award for obvious reasons. He never got a finals MVP award for obvious reasons. But I thought I saw Scotty's name. There it is. Okay. Champion, defensive player of the year. Sticking with the Chicago theme. Now, this guy did a lot of his stuff outside of Chicago, but he did play for the Bulls once upon a time, and that would be um, Ben Wallace? It is five-time champion, two-time MVP, and a rookie of the year award. All right, who in this mug got a, so many rings that they could fill up their whole left hand if they wanted to? That would be Tim Duncan, two MVP awards too. Don't forget about that picture with Tim Duncan and collected his MVP award and some jorts. Never forget. NBA champion, NBA MVP, skip. Six-time champion, five-time MVP, six-time finals MVP, defense player of the year, rookie of the year, none other than... The guy right above my head right there that you can barely see anymore. That will be... Uh, see, if this is in alphabetical order, it will be so much easier to find his name. Where is MJ? There we go. Okay. One-time champion. One-time rookie of the year. He ain't do nothing else. So that can mean that he won his championship later in his career and he wasn't the main guy. I'm skipping it. Three-time champion. Three-time MVP. Put them together. That's Larry Bird. There we go. Um, one-time champion, one-time defensive player of the year. Okay. Uh, oh, um, wait, Gary Payton. Gary Payton. He got a championship late in his career with Miami, but one of the only guards in NBA history to win defensive player of the year. Got to respect it. Six man of the year, four-time champion, Manu, who I'm hoping ain't retiring. You know, he showed us he can still ball out. You feel me? He can still ball out. Two-time champion, one-time MVP, two-time defensive player of the year winner. Two-time. It's not Kawhi because Kawhi has no regular season MVPs. 
two-time defensive player of the year winner. Who here just got the claps? The Kimbe Mutombo do, but the Kimbe has a little bit more than that. Two-time champion. Skip. Um, two-time champion, MVP, Ricky, the defense player of the year. Skip. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, the four-time defense player of the year. That's the Kimbe. Four championships, one finals MVP. That would be Tony Parker, who came out. I think he said that today, that he's like, you know what? I'm going to still play. I think Powell said that, too. They got a lot of old guys on that team that are close to retirement, but they don't want to wrap, wrap it up, which is a good thing. I don't want to see them leave. Two-time champion, two-time MVP, but he was never finals MVP. Keep that in mind. Never finals MVP. Steph Curry. Yeah, there we go. Hey, I feel very good about that one. Um, skip. Seven-time champion, that's Robert Ory. Most improved player and a champion, that's Kevin Love. Three-time champion, four-time MVP, that is LBJ. 11-time champion, say less. It's only one player in the league with enough rings to cover all of his fingers and one of his toes if he wanted to. That's Bill Russell. Three-time deep six man of the year. It's not Bill Walton. He only got one of those. Jamal Crawford. Oh, okay. Jamal Crawford. Was, I didn't even see his name at first. Two-time defensive player of the year. One-time champion. One-time finals MVP. That would be Kawhi Leonard. Three-time defensive player of the year. And that's it, really. Um, who here? Oh, Dwight. Dominance of Dwight. He could have won the MVP award. He could have. Five-time champion, two-time defensive player of the year. That's a pretty, hey, that's pretty good. Five-time champion, D D Dennis Rodman, baby. Dennis Rodman. He missed the first one here in Chicago. He won some, and I think he won one more after us in San Antonio, maybe? He won some in Chicago. That's all we really care about. Two-time MVP, nothing else. I know who this is, and that would be the great Steven Ash. Six-time champion, six-time MVPs. A long name, Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem. Did I say Hakeem? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Two-time MVP. No champions. No championships. But two-time MVP. Um, ooh, Karl Malone? Yes. MVP award. Uh, Russell. Nope. Okay. I, I should have skipped that one. I probably should have skipped that one. Now our streak is over with. Our streak is over with. We were like on a 23 and no streak, but now it's over. Five rings, one MVP. Five rings, one MVP. That's not Magic. I thought Magic had more. I think Magic has three. So let's skip that. Five rings, one MVP. One of the greatest scores we ever seen. Should have won the more MVPs. Kobe Bean. Kobe Bean. Five-time champion. Three MVPs. That's Magic. Look at that. Rookie of the Year MVP award. Allen Iverson? Or Derrick Rose. Doesn't Allen Iverson have some type of Olympic medal? I'm going Derrick Rose. And it was right. Three-time champion. One-time finals MVP. Three-time champion, one-time finals MVP. All right, let's think about this. Dwayne Wade has three championships. Never been the best player in the league, but he was the best player on this team in that 2006 run with Shaq. Six. Nonetheless, I think it's Dwayne Wade. Um... Okay, one champion, one MVP, one rookie of the year. One champion, one MVP. Kevin Durant. <laughs> I'm on the roll. Um, Two-time champion. One-time finals MVP. Two-time champion, one-time finals MVP. I would have to skip it. Two-time champ, six-man of the year, and an MVP. That's only Bill Walton. MVP and nothing else. Allen Iverson didn't win rookie of the year. His, no, that's Russell Westbrook. Yes, there we go. Um, NBA champion, MVP, and two-time. All right, so one player, one MVP award, one championship. Sounds like Dirk. That did sound like Dirk, right? Okay. Hey, no biggie. We going to recuperate. We, we going to recover. On this one, um, who won a Rookie of the Year award but didn't win an MVP out of this list? Would that be Jason Kidd? He did win a championship in Dallas. Yes. Two-time, two-time, two-time. Two championships, two, MV two finals MVPs. Hakeem Olajuwon. Two championships, one MVP, one Defensive Player of the Year, one Rookie of the Year.
Uh, rookie of the year and MVP. That's Allen Iverson. Yes. One MVP, one championship, and one finals MVP. It's not Iggy. Iggy's still on his list for some reason. Julius Irvin? Nope. Okay. Two-time champion. See, this is what things get a little bit tough. Two-time champion. Finals MVP. That's Iggy. There we go. Champion, MVP, three-time All-Star Game MVP, Rookie of the Year. Julius? Where's Dirk, all right? Where's the Dirk one? Where's Shaq? Did I get the Shaq one wrong already? This is the last question. We are guaranteed to at least have five questions wrong. Let's get this right. Two-time champion, MVP, Rookie of the Year. I do not know how many David Robinson won. Two. This is David Robinson, 100%. We got an 88. The average score is a 54. All right. So we, we did exceed expectations. Julius Irvin. Okay. Shaq. We missed the Shaq one. I don't know wh where we got it wrong, but we did. We missed the Dirk one. We missed the Big O, and we missed Charles Barkley. But nonetheless, 88% was better than I was expecting. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave it a like. I'll be back tomorrow with a new video. Peace.